everybody. So today you get to see me a little bit before we cut some soap, but the whole reason for um, making this video um, and the reason why I'm wearing my um, glasses, which I usually don't um, when I'm making soap. So <clears throat> just so you know, I 99% of the time wear my contacts, but I can't wear my contacts for a couple of weeks um, due to an eye injury, which is what I wanted to talk to you about today. So full disclosure, I've been making soap for over 13 years and I have literally never um, had anything happen which was going to, um, which could possibly hurt me. Well, I guess I should say I have, but I've always had, um, I've never been injured because um, I've been doing things properly. But the other day, um, and I guess this happens, like my husband said, um, he has done safety OSHA classes and stuff where he works in an industrial facility, they have to do those periodically. And he's actually on the um, emergency response team. So, and they deal with a lot of chemicals where he works. So he's had to um, learn a lot about them. But he said that what happens, a lot of times people, when they have done something for so long, they become kind of, it's the, it's, that's when they usually get hurt because they've done something for so long, they've never been hurt. So they get kind of lax in their, safety protocols, which I really honestly didn't, I guess, I mean, I did, but it wasn't intentional. I wasn't intentionally um, doing something to be lax. So the things that I do normally when I am making soap, I have a solution of vinegar and water um, around just in case I ever get any a splash on my skin, which is usually, generally I wear long sleeves. I really do try to wear long sleeves. So that is optimal, optimal to wear long sleeve plus gloves close to shoes and I will admit to not doing that because it's Florida and um, I generally do not wear socks or open toed shoes because it's just, you know, it's flip flops and it's sandals. It's what we wear in Florida all the time. But I generally don't have shoes on at all um, because I've actually had shoes, sandals on and gotten lie trapped underneath and then it's kind of hard to get it off and it doesn't get off the shoe. So anyway, um, so that I don't do correctly, I will admit to that. Um, and uh, I will do better about that. I should actually keep some closed toed shoes and socks out here um, just for when I'm making soap. But anyway, so I wear goggles, which these are my goggles. They're really good goggles. They actually don't usually fog up, but I will show you that they, why we wear them. As you can see right there is soap and over there, I mean, they, you can see all the little splatter marks from where the lye pops up. So these, that is why we wear goggles all the time. And always wear the gloves and the um, long sleeves. And um, I have the vinegar solution around, but I also have water, um, bottles of water. And I'm so glad that I did. Okay, so this is what happened. Making this soap, um, it is a soap that generally does accelerate on me, so I was expecting that. Um, I wasn't um, doing a video of this one because it's a remake for, um, you know, soap I make all the time. So I um, wasn't doing a video. So I started seizing up and what you do when you do that is, you know, when ha that happens, you get everything in the mold, then you kind of tap it down in the ground. And I had my goggles on, which you can see because the soap's actually on there, but some of the soap right there, that blue, okay? So I had my goggles on. Some had splashed up when I was plopping it in to the mold, which can happen because you're plopping it and everything. Um, and then they started to fog up because it was like, so humid in here. Um, I checked um, later when I came back out and the humidity was like 86 or 87% in my studio. And I do have a dehumidifier running. So that is how hum it was humid, that humid even with a dehumidifier. And, um, you know, I was making so quickly, so getting hot, it was hot in here. So, um, I, anyway, my goggles fogged up, which they really don't, doesn't happen. But after I got everything in the mold and I go down to put it on the floor, I couldn't see, um, you know, very well with the fogged up. So I took these and put them on my forehead. Knocking it down on the ground, some of the raw soap batter, and I don't even know how because it was so thick, plopped back up and right into my left eye, like the bottom 
of my eyelid. So immediately, um, totally scared me to death because I wear contacts. I like my first thought was to get my contact out of my eye, so I rip my gloves off and um, get try to get my contact out. I wasn't actually sure I actually got it out because it hurt so bad. Um, so I started, I had the bottle of water right there next to where I'm making soap and I immediately opened it and just poured it in my eye um, for like, and just over and over. I'm just completely drenched with this bottle of water. And then I go inside, um, run inside after doing that and immediately start flushing it with more water and come to my actually watching videos there is actually an eye wash station and skin wash station because I do not have water in my studio um, I have fresh water like right outside in a hose but I didn't really think about it care I was like ran inside um, instead which my house is not that far away so I ran inside to the bathroom and plus I wanted to try to get somebody to help me and I had left my phone in the my studio and couldn't make a call anyway I was covered in soap and water and everything else um, but so I ran inside started drenching it with even more water and had my daughters come in and see if they could see if my contact was still in there because I couldn't see worth anything <laughs> so and I pulled my other contact out just so I could wash and oh the pain was so bad um, I was so scared I'm just flushing 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 um, eventually um, once my husband got home to um, take me there we went to the emergency room where they use like this um, suction I was like a little it was a big giant like looking contact they put that on my eye which they said my actually my pH on my eye when I got there they used a litmus um, stick and test and it was seven so it was um, neutral and um, so the, my pH was good so he said I did a really good job of flushing it out but there was a lot of irritation on my eye so they flushed it again with a little, it was like a plastic contact and then just a whole liter of um, saline solution, which by the way, that is what I was flushing my eye with in the house. So I used a whole bottle of saline solution, um, not multi-purpose or anything like that. This was just straight up saline solution. So that was what I flushed it with and more water, but the saline was doing a better job. Um, I thought anyway, so get that. and. Then, the, the, oh, this thing was like torture. They put it on your eyeball. My eyeball was already hurting. They put numbing drops in. I don't think they did anything. Um, so they put this whole body. I was like, I mean, it's completely soaking wet. By the end of this, it took about 10 minutes. By the, like, almost done, three-quarter way, I really thought I was going to. I mean, it was so bad. I begged them to let me. Um, because they said it was okay <laughs> that I didn't really need the extra that was just so bad it hurt so anyway so they pulled it off with probably about half a cup left he said I was that would be good and the doctor came back checked it again my pH was um, it had started out about I think he said 7.8 which they told me 7 but then he it was like 7 when we were done with the second flush so everything was good they gave me some kind of um, ointment for the ear to help with the kind of decode it because it was my mainly my upper eyelid and I'll show pictures of what it looked like before and then it's burnt right under here but immediately I had put aloe um, I have fresh aloe that I use for um, making hand sanitizers and stuff for ourselves so I always have that in the refrigerator so it was cold so cold organic aloe vera gel and I just put that on my eye and over my eyelid um, and he said that probably was what saved me from that because my burns they, they kind of eat through your skin in stages um, so if you leave it sit on there not knowing it's there it'll just eat the way layers of your skin away it's really horrid um, by the time you figure out it's there and you feel the pain um, it can be really really bad which Honestly, if I didn't wear gloves, and you should wear gloves, but um, you know, dealing with soap, you know, if you have it and you get it underneath your ring or something, which is why I take off your jewelry. Um, but wearing gloves, you really don't have to. Well, as long as they're like mine is flat, so I don't ever have to worry about taking it off. It won't damage my gloves. But anyway, so I wanted to kind of show you. I'm actually going to 
This is not how this soap was supposed to look. Um, hopefully it turned out okay, actually. I came back later that evening and kind of, it was still warm, so I tapped it down some more to hopefully if there were any air pockets. Um, wearing, gla wearing glasses and goggles at this point, even though my eye was like practically swollen shut. Um, and I don't even know how I slept, but it actually felt better to have it closed. But anyway, so it's been three days now and um, the ointment really does help and I just had to put it back on again. It's kind of, my eye just continually waters all the time and I have to wear my glasses, which is kind of annoying because I can't wear my sunglasses. And it feels like something's in my eye, but it's not. It's because my top eyelid is still um, really swollen, which you can probably tell my eye looks funky. But I'll show you some pictures of what it looked like when it first happened. And then the, the burn is also on the top of my eyelid, but I have heavy lids, so you can't see that there's a burn there too. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this soap and we'll see what it looks like when you make soap and in the middle of it, you, um, well, the end of it, you end up uh, rushing to uh, the emergency room. So anyway, we will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of the mold. And I really hope this actually turns out because I was in the process of making a whole bunch of soap after, um, you know, I've been so busy my, with my mom being sick. And then um, we got sick and my mom actually um, passed away. So for a while in uh, September, but we have been so busy. I mean, you know, preoccupied and dealing with that. I haven't had a whole lot of time to make soap. So I really needed to make a lot is probably another reason why I got a little careless because I was trying to do a lot of things you know when you're trying to do more than you should all at one time and being quick and trying to be fast and, and you know all that good stuff and when you get careless obviously so let's see how this turned out and see if it's actually salvageable I can kind of see a little bit that it's gonna a little bit that it's gonna probably have some air pockets in it Ugh, which is kind of disappointing, but what are you gonna do? You know, my fault totally for messing up and trying to do too many things at once and doing things too quickly and not thinking. But maybe a few bars will be all right. We only have one show that we're doing this year. Last year we didn't do any, but this year we're gonna do one show for Thanksgiving, to around Thanksgiving. That's not too bad. I mean, no air pockets or anything, at least not in this one. So it looks all right. Kind of looks a little cool. Let's see. Nope, no air pockets in that one. But these kind of, this one down here, kind of on the side, you can see where I kind of had to, and there's a air pocket there, but we should be able to kind of use some extra batter. Like and fill that in. Oh, there we go. So not too bad, which I'm very glad about. And this is, anyway, this is our Florida beaches. Still smells perfectly wonderful. I probably will never make Florida beaches again um, without thinking about almost losing my eye over making this soap. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty stoked that um, this wasn't a complete loss even after that. Oh, this one even kind of got, I kind of tried to come back later and do a little chopstick swirl while it was so I could get maybe some swirls in it you know I'm nuts like that I didn't want to lose a whole five pounds of soap but yeah so I think they turned out pretty good I'm, I'm so happy about that really I've had so much um, go wrong lately that it's kind of nice that this soap <laughs> turned out well anyway or it turned out all right anyway so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've learned anything like me then I hope that it 
has helped you and that you end up not having the same thing happen that I did and you learn from my mistakes. But um, anyway, thanks for watching and we appreciate every single one of you and we hope that you have a very blessed day and we will catch you later. Thank you.